Hi, I'm Sefra Jerome, and I'm presenting the astrology column for Romance Daily News for the week of November the 5th. Let us know if you prefer your horoscopes by video or if you prefer the written ones that we've been doing up until this point. This week has been a pretty exciting week all around because, you know, we finished up Halloween, so now we're into November. In the United States, there was a big election, and uh, I'm recording this video late, so we already know the election results that uh, now the House is uh, in the States. There's kind of more of a balance uh, politically, so it'll be interesting to see what develops from that. And here in Canada today, on the day of the new moon, that we, uh, our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, extended an apology to the Jewish people that were turned away during the Holocaust times by Canada. There were 907 Jewish people who sought asylum and they were turned away and ultimately ended up in the concentration camps. So these are kind of examples of what might happen during a new moon week. And so uh, new things may have been happening for you as well. At any rate, let's get on with it. So for Aries this week, you may find once again, your passions are really strong. You've got a lot of ambition and tenacity. You're trying to get some projects done. You may find that there's some confrontations happening this week as well. Uh, everything's in flux still with emotions. We still have a lot of the Scorpio energy coming in for us. Then we have the new moon energy, which you know enhances the idea of having new projects to start and finish. And then we also have... Uh, Mercury and Sagittarius. So you have to really um, think about expanding uh, your knowledge or your reach of all the topics and projects that you're trying to get at so that uh, you can broaden your horizons and make even more money. <laughs> And then also, too, uh, Venus has left Scorpio and has moved more into Libra. So maybe all the intense, passionate ideas that you were having while the uh, Venus was in Scorpio, maybe they're fading a little bit. Now you're just back to having regular crushes and you don't feel like stalking anyone anymore and stuff like that. But it still is very auspicious to have uh, Venus in Libra for you, Aries. Okay? Now, on to Taurus. Taurus, you might have found yourself being a bit stuck in a rut or laid back with some events, uh, maybe not wanting to progress as easily or as forwardly as you usually do. That doesn't mean you've stopped being stubborn or bullheaded about a few things, but you may be a little more cautious. And so, while you're doing that, maybe consider ideas like, for instance, if you're working on a project, you might want to expand a little more than what's just kind of like the surface information. You want to dig a little deeper and get in there uh, to really get at the meat of your project so you can present it and maybe get more investors or more people interested in helping you out. Also, when it comes to romance, uh, Venus is in Libra, and Libra is a pretty glamorous sign. Uh, they're also like known as the fence sitters of the zodiac, but that doesn't mean they don't take action. However, Venus in Libra gives you a sense of um, appreciation of beauty, which Taurus already has. And so you may find yourself attracted to what in your mind is beautiful people. You know, we all have different tastes. Taste is subjective. So what's beautiful to you may not be to another. So that's fantastic. Go after your beautiful person and uh, get flirty. Have some fun. Um, you know, it's a new moon energy this week. So you will find uh, you might be able to develop some new romances and also get some of those new projects off the ground. With Gemini, well, as usual, you're flitting around here and there. Uh, all your personalities are percolating and bubbling and everything. And, uh, you know, I know I, I, it sounds like I pick on Gemini a lot in my columns, but in fact, I'm surrounded by Gemini, so I'm really familiar with how Geminis are. And I'm an air sign like Gemini, so I appreciate the airy energy of, you know, being really embracing technology and, and really wanting to know the current events and what's going on and fingers in every pies. And, and this is continues on for you this week, Gemini, because it is a new moon. Uh, new moon energy so you're starting even more new projects um, you, you have uh, it, you know the Venus and Libra is really getting you going with uh, some new ideas for romantic interests and you know you're super flirty and then the 
uh, Libra makes people flirty too. So you're super de duper flirty this week. So you shouldn't have any problem finding uh, not only flirting partners, but uh, partners to hang out with, go on dates with, maybe, uh, you know, some one night stands or maybe something longer and more enduring and lasting if that's what you want. Some Geminis really enjoy long term relationships and others prefer just short little ones until they really fall in love with that very special person. Uh, Geminis are often called the Peter Pan of the Zodiac, uh, which means there doesn't mean necessarily that you're immature, but just childlike and full of wonder and always want to have adventures and experience new things. Uh, so this is definitely the week to embrace all those ideas, Gemini, because it's, it is the new moon and you just keep on being on and keep on being that Gemini. Now we come to Cancer, and Cancer, you know, Cancer, you like to have your home in order, uh, depending on what that means to you. Some Cancers are super huge pack rats, others are very clean and orderly, you could eat off their floors, you know, so you know which one you are. And uh, so your focus is again on home this week and trying to get uh, some things done around the house. Uh, you might want to buy some new um, like bedding or curtains or things uh, to decorate the house because we are coming into November and here like in Canada and North America you know we're coming into the dark days we're in we're in the middle of the dark days and so it, we need to be cheered up and brightened up and then if you're a cancer in the other hemisphere um, you know you're probably experiencing summer and more daylight and things like that so why not decorate and celebrate and get some new things up you know you might want to hang up masks from Mardi Gras you might want to hang up uh, you know things that are very decorative and uh, bright so that you're feeling more energized because it is a new moon this week so you want to get cracking on some new projects you know if you're a writer you know start that new book uh, we are in uh, what's called NaNoWriMo month which is National Novel Writing Month and for a lot of writers this is the time where we try to hit certain word counts every day I believe the magic number is 600 1666 <laughs> an auspicious number as it were and uh, so people are trying to hit those marks this week every single day so that they end up with a novel at the end of the month so cancer this might be something you're interested in trying out um, even if you've never written a word before and if you're not a writer you know there's tons of other ways to express yourself artistically whether it's singing or dancing or playing an instrument or sewing and as we know cancers love to uh, beautify their homes as I've been saying it's the week for it so so if you're craftily inclined, this is a great week to try some those new craft ideas you've been uh, grabbing on Pinterest. Uh, so open up that file and see what you can manifest with your uh, skills and ideas and with new uh, projects to do. Okay. Now we are on to Leo. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> I love the Leos. I have a Leo son. And uh, Leo... You know everything's you know go big or go home with you as it were and this is a week of new beginnings so it's a good time for you to assess uh, what you really want out of life what you really need out of life uh, you might want to consider throwing away some stuff you have lying around that you don't need although um, most Leos aren't really pack rat types but you know it's always good to clean out the drawer we here in North America we're having season changes so we're coming into winter so yeah, you can go through your stuff and see what fits and doesn't fit and uh, give yourself permission to buy some nice new things. Uh, this weekend you might find yourself going on a date or two or three. Uh, your calling card will probably be full. Leo usually does attract attention wherever they go because you're very charismatic and friendly. Um, you know people sometimes give Leo a, a rough uh, time because they think Leo is so egotistical and it's not that it's just Leo's carry themselves in such a way that people 
see them or notice them when they enter a room and then Leos are super friendly most of them are not all but most they, they like to talk to people whether it's a stranger or someone they've known forever and you know we could all learn from Leos and how to make friends <laughs> and maybe not even friends but acquaintances or just going into a place like a grocery store and talking to people and finding out about stuff and and sharing interests and ideas with people. So Leo, you may also want to start some new projects this week. It's a, a very auspicious time for you to begin something. And uh, you know, I was talking about how it is National Novel Writing Month. So you know, if you're a writer, you might want to put some words down. And if you're not a writer, just you know, get, get in tune with your artistic side, whatever that means to you. Art comes in many forms in many ways. And uh, if you're a typical Leo, you probably just like to dance. So go dance and dance and meet some nice people this weekend. You probably already know many. Uh, invite some friends out that you haven't seen in a while and go for a few drinks and uh, reacquaint yourself with some people. Okay, Leo? Now we come into Virgo. And Virgo, uh, you are working hard. You're always working hard, Virgo. Do you even take a day off? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, some Virgos are super lazy, but uh, I have the privilege of knowing many Virgos and all the ones I know are very hardworking people uh, in their fields or trying to break into fields. Of course, most of the people I know are artistic types and they're very disciplined and developed. And if you're a Virgo, you are too, probably, no matter what line of work you're in. So this week, you know, think about some new possibilities you might want to do for yourself. Instead of always trying to help others or pleasing others, do something for yourself this week. I give you permission. You might want to um, just take some time to yourself away from the maddening crowd and uh, like go to a water tank and sit and float and let your mind, you know, free associate with, you know, if you're having troubles or maybe you're missing some loved ones that you've lost and things like that um, or you might want to go on a retreat maybe by yourself or maybe bring a friend you might want to go hiking you may not have time to go somewhere but you should make a little bit of time to get out and about and do some things so go hiking walk by the lake or walk in the woods uh, no matter where you live you probably have access to woods or lakes um, even if you have to you know take take a bicycle or a bus or something to get to them. I was also reading this week about um, river stones. So if you go by a lake or a river and uh, just pick up some pretty stones. I know we all do that now and again, especially when we're children. But Virgo, you might want to pick up some stones from the river's edge and put them in your pockets and just uh, meditate on uh, a few things just to calm your mind and think about yourself now and again and what you need to do for yourself. Give your, you know, pamper yourself a little bit. Maybe go get a foot massage or something like that. Okay, Virgo? Now we're on to Libra and Libra. Libra, you know, you just had your birthday month and all that. And now Venus is in Libra. So you're all lit up. It's exciting times. Although I know things can get tough for Libra too. Uh, Libra often has challenges, uh, not because you're indecisive, but because you try to be fair on both sides. You see both sides of uh, situations and you, you want the best for people. And sometimes what you think is best for someone isn't necessarily what's best uh, because you know, from the outside, we see things a certain way, but we don't know all the facts sometimes, even with your very closest friends. You may not have all the facts of what's really going on in a situation. So don't be hard on yourself if people aren't taking your advice or listening. You know, Libras love to give advice. And, uh, you know, and if you think your friends are making wrong decisions, it's probably because you don't know all the facts. You don't really know what's truly going on. So just cut them some slack and be supportive. And also, Libra, if you've been procrastinating, and you might have been, <laughs> it's time to like get in gear, uh, you know, get check 
you know, pull out that to-do list, check it over, see what you got going on, and, and start checking some things off. Uh, and you might want to cross some things off, even if you haven't done it, because uh, there may be some things on that list that have been around for a while, and you just know you're not going to get up get to them so just you know give yourself permission to let those things go and focus on what's truly important and get organized with what you truly need to get done this week um, it is a great time for new beginnings and so new beginnings mean endings to other things right so just you know let some of that stuff go don't don't get haunted by it don't get stressed out you're only human I think most of us are only human I maybe some of us are space aliens and stuff but most of us are just human and we can only do so much and get so much done so just focus on what's truly important try not to save the world and just do what you got to do okay Libra now what else Scorpio Mm, Scorpio here we are in Scorpio and Scorpio is a wonderful time uh, we're in Scorpio now and Scorpio people are amazing people and this is your birthday month so happy birthday to Scorpios so we just came out of the Venus being in Scorpio so you probably are still clinging to a lot of the intense feelings you had a lot of passion a lot of emotion going on and um, so so you might want to just like take some time to yourself and pull yourself together you know? <laughs> just really reflect on what's truly important to you uh, it's a new moon right now so we're you know like as of like right now uh, so we have the new moon happening so it's a great time for new beginnings a uh, Scorpio people are often very helpful people but they're also um, very private people in some ways and very outgoing and others so, you know there's, you're one of those signs that's a, a paradox and most humans are a paradox so it's nothing to be you know freaked out about or anything um, so in your quiet moments really think about what it is that's important this week for you to get done um, think about uh, the projects you need to tackle and think about people in your life that maybe aren't the best for you and I don't mean like you know plot their murder or stalk them till they die or <laughs> anything like that so we know stor some Scorpios do hold grudges and resentment so this is a good time to let go of all that stuff uh, accept people's mistakes for what they are uh, and if you truly can't forgive someone like seriously just cut them out of your life don't think about them anymore just just get rid of them get rid of those ideas and then this weekend if you're single uh, you know that you want, might want to go out uh, and some people like to go to bars to meet people you go dancing other people like more formal things like you might want to go to a museum or an aquarium or even like some kind of library or book event or a concert some some place where you'll meet people that have the same interests as you because you're doing your interest while you're out and uh, but make sure you go to you know like a museum or someplace like that where you can actually talk to people you know take a lesson from Leo who talks to everyone or Aquarius like me who talks to everyone um, you know just instead of like just watching and observing all the time <laughs> you can uh, uh, you know pick up some conversations and you might meet some interesting people you can connect with and even if you don't make a love connection maybe you can be friends and there's nothing wrong with having some great new friends is there now on to Sagittarius who's friends with everyone <laughs> speaking of friends Sagittarius you're probably running all around this week um, there's so much stuff to do a lot of you are probably teachers so it's busy times you might be in exams or new classes and things like that and then uh, so this week try not to get too preachy with people and I don't mean just your students uh, you know I have to give this comment to Sagittarius every week <laughs> Yeah, Sagittarians you know you do know a lot you're a fountain of information you're the philosophers and the teachers and you love to share your ideas and things like that so um, try not to bulldoze people with your ideas but certainly um, share your ideas and uh, get some of those new projects started I know you have a to-do list and uh, you might want to check it and make sure you're doing what you need to do and as for love this should be a great week for love for you uh, whether you're married or single uh, if you're single get out there you know if you're one of those reclusive types you're not going to meet anyone unless you're online doing interneting um, and you 
you know, internet romances are fine, but eventually, you know, you want the physicality. So I always caution people if you're, you know, from my own experiences, <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, to have an internet romance, uh, try to have one with someone rather close, like in your city or just outside your city, so you don't don't have to cross borders. Or if you watch Ninety Day Fiance, I'm sure there's a lot of sad, lot of Sagittarians on that show because they're so adventurous and curious. Um, you know, you don't need to go to another country. I'm sure there's people right in your own city. It's just nobody's connected yet. So if you're doing the online dating thing, try to find people where you can actually go for a coffee and meet in real life and maybe have a real romance right you got to start somewhere so this is a good week for you Sagittarius to uh, check out some of that online dating stuff in your city or go on one of those uh, speed dates too uh, lots of uh, lots of big cities have speed date uh, events you just google it and, and see and you meet like 10 people at a time and I know like if you're into comic-con or places like that comic-cons always have the speed dating things so you meet geeks just like you you know <laughs> so check it out why not why not it's a Capricorn you're a little more serious I'm not sure how many internet dates you do but maybe you do because you do have that secret side and even if you're married you might have that little secret side of uh, talking online to people and for you too, uh, you're a pretty organized person, but you too have been hit with a lot of stuff over the last few weeks. And it's been chaotic and crazy, just like for the rest of us. So maybe things are slowing down a bit for you now and you're able to get a little more focused and start honing in on some of those projects that need your attention. Uh, you might need to deal with some stuff around the house, uh, maybe need to add some bookcases or shift some stuff around. Um, you always like to have the very best, so maybe you've had your eye on something for a while that, that'll pretty up your house, now's the time to go buy that and uh, you know bring it in, get that delivery person to bring it in for you. And uh, you know you're, you're fairly generous with your friends and family as well and so you may need to uh, get out there and visit some of your family you've probably been working really hard because Capricorns a lot of Capricorns are workaholics not all of them but some so you want to make sure that you're not neglecting friends and family when you're work focusing on working and getting your home in order and stuff right so make some calls see some people <laughs> Now we're on to Aquarius and Aquarius. Uh, I know I'm an Aquarius. It's been chaos and crazy times. I don't know why. It just feels like I can never really be you know, on this treadmill that never really stops. But I guess that's how life is, right? Life is a treadmill. If you're busy and have a lot of interests and uh, have a lot of friends, you know, you, you tend to get out there and do things. So this is, you know, new moon energy. This is a time to start new projects, new ideas, new beginnings. Um, look over that to-do list. Make sure you're meeting all your obligations. Um, you know, pay those bills. Uh, you know, answer those emails. Deal with people. Um, Aquarius tends to befriend people of all walks of life. And, uh, and not that other signs don't, other signs do too, but Aquarius has a weird, a lot of Aquarians, not all, but a lot of Aquarians have this kind of, I don't know, personality <laughs> problem of, um, you know, befriending people of all walks of life. And then it can be hard to like dismiss people that aren't healthy for you so this week really try and get focused on um, you know saying goodbye to some people or it, it seems like this the last couple of weeks have been uh, a time where because there's been a lot of retrogrades in the planets a lot of people coming back into people's lives and this uh, for all the signs actually a lot of people coming back into people's lives that they haven't seen or heard from forever and a lot of these people are very strange <laughs> or you know they, they haven't been in your life for a long time for a reason and now they're back and so Aquarius has to really learn to um, segregate the reality from the fantasy of who this person really is and learn to cut ties with some of these people um, you got to learn how to use the block thing on Facebook all that stuff right but if romantically uh, you know since Venus is in Libra and you're an air sign too you sh you know you should be able to uh, have a good social time this weekend if you get out of the house you 
should be able to uh, find some people to party with and maybe your friends will set you up on a blind date and try not to meet any more wackadoos because <laughs> like I said you're trying to get rid of all the past ones don't don't you know go for more so um, even though Aquarius is super friendly most are some aren't uh, and sometimes we're come off as reserved because uh, we're observing um, try to pick and choose the new friends and try to not bring people into your life too quickly till you know more about them because it uh you know it can be detrimental to bring the wrong people into your life so just be alert and aware as they say and now pisces pisces this week for you is probably pretty romantic or uh you're yearning for romance even if you're not getting any um and you may be getting plenty, you know, because there's all sorts of Pisces with all sorts of romantic possibilities. Some are married, some are single. And, um, you know, you, you, you feel that sense of romance and, you know, you want to be with people. You want to do things for those you love. And then you want those you love to do things for you. Because Pisces is always about the what you give, you got to get, right? And uh, if you're single, uh, you could do some online, you know, check out some stuff online. But like I said, uh, uh, to some of the other signs, and I've said it many times, try to pick prospective partners in your city so that you can actually meet them and go on dates, go to movies or go to the aquarium or, you know, go for a swim or whatever it is you like to do. Because it can be really frustrating to have a long distance online relationship and then um, and even though at first, you know, it's intriguing and fun and all that, ultimately you do want to get together with someone and you don't want to have to worry about the expense of trying to bring someone from another country or the, you know, even just crossing the states to Canada can be a real pain. I know some people, uh, I know a couple of Canadians who are involved with some Americans and it's really hard. Sometimes they aren't even allowed across to see their romantic partner because, you know, the border guard thinks they're going to skip town and all that. So um, try to date someone, you know, within a hundred mile radius, <laughs> even though the fantasy of someone exotic and far away is always great. And certainly you can have pen pals and stuff like that. Well, we call it, we, we used to call them pen pals. I guess they're not called that anymore. But online uh, acquaintances or whatever, you can talk around the world. That's one of the beauties of the internet. But uh, the reality of dating, you want to try and hone it in, bring it into your city so you can like just get in the car and go say hi, go to a movie or whatever. Okay, so there we have it for this week. There's all, all the signs and uh, I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week and we'll see you soon.